Hello, it's Christian, and welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60. Today, we're going to put text on a cone, and I will done two cones here, as you can see. And yes, this is what you normally get when you emboss a straight text on a cone. You get this sad face. It can be cool looking sometimes. But um, some while back, there were lots of questions on Facebook and other places on how to put text straight on a cone. How do you align the text so it goes nicely and straight on a cone? And that was a bit hard earlier, but now we got the new tool, uh, Text on Path, which makes this quite easy to do. So, we're going to start a new design. We're going to create our cone. This is the boring part. And uh, this will be 200. We're going to extrude it something like 75 millimeters, give it a taper angle of negative uh, 29 degrees. Just odd numbers. So we have a cone or some or truncated cone to be more specific. Uh, I'm going to open up my browser and turn off that sketch. Uh, so we have a truncated cone. Now we need something to sketch the text on. So we're going to construct tangent plane on this here. And it puts it at zero degrees. So of course, and if you want to put your text somewhere else, you can now move around where you want the center of the plane to be. I'm going to have me at zero degrees like that. We create a sketch. On this, we can now do two projections. I hit P on the keyboard. Uh, selection filters, specific entities. Yes, I'm going to take the top circle here. Hit OK. I do a second projection of the body, the whole body, like that. And now I can hide the body, which is easier to see. Now I have basically the whole I have a projection of the body on this plane. Uh, it adds some strange things sometimes, but that's not important point. The important point and these are these two lines now here. I'm searching for the point of the cone. So we're just gonna do two lines. You can do it like this, and we use collinear between side, line, side and line. By doing that we get the lock, everything is defined and constrained. This is the center or well, the vertex of the cone where it should be projected on the tangent plane. So we're going to use that now uh, to uh, set up our arc, which we're going to put our text on. Center point arc. We choose the center point up here. I'm just going to make an arc like that. Put a line. I'm looking for the center point or the midpoint of arc. You have it here where the triangle shows up from here. Straight up. Uh, I'm going to tell Fuchsia I want that to be uh, horse by vertical. I would have said horizontal. The good thing about this is now I get the arc like it moves in a nice control way. Uh, the next thing I want to do, I want to set how the, the distance from the bottom of the cone up on the face, how high up I want the text to start. Not like that. I'm going to mention from this point to this point. Well, we're going to do about 20 millimeters, something like that. Uh, now we have all our basic dimensions. The only thing I've not the dimensions yet is this. We could do that in a short while. Now, I don't want all these lines to confuse me, so I'm going to mark all of it and turn it into construction geometry. And now comes the important part, our text. Hit the line, right click, text on path. Uh, and I'm like all other YouTubers now, uh, like this video like that and i'm going to do fit to path we're going to have a look at that later it makes it easier to get the text the way i want it if you have a really hard slope on the comb the text might hit itself in the head and stuff like that so now we're going to set up some things on the text so we're going to look at this let's do these 30 millimeters i want it bold we're going to do rl sk and i hit ok so now we have a text. What I can do now, the text is locked in this direction, but I can take the text and make it look the way I want to. And if I really want to do everything locked down, I can put in a dimension here, so it makes it 315, just to make all my stitches, sketches fully constrained and defined. So with that, finish sketch. Now comes the easy part, turn on our body. We're gonna do the emboss command. We're gonna choose the text and the face is going to be the face of the cone. Let it think for a while. The important thing in is now do not move around the sketch here. You can move around the emboss function. You can move it. If you move it you lose the alignment. So we can do a deboss this time because it's fun. So we're going to cut it like that. 
wait for the update and turn off the sketch. And now we have text straight and nice on this here, but it's a bit low. The only way to fix this now is turn on this sketch. I'm going to show dimensions. I want it a bit higher up, so let's just change that to 25 millimeters. And boss gives me warning as usual. Sorry. Let's do fix my boss. What did you lose? No, you didn't lose anything. Uh, like that. Sometimes fusion confuses me. So now it's nice in the middle. So it's a bit of tinkering to get the text where you want it. But in this way, you can put text nicely, straight, or aligned with the bottom or top of the cone, what you call it. So I hope this can be useful for you. So take care, see you around, and goodbye.